right here on the World Wide Web. And I'm so thankful to God because He's blessed me to see another day. He's a wonderful God. He's a mighty God. He's a gracious God. He's a compassionate God. He's all of those things rolled up in one. He's a mighty God.
Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. He's watching you. He's supplying your needs. He's supplying that strength. He's in your heart. Be of good courage because you've overcome the world. All you have to do if you haven't done it is to repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. It's not God's will that any should perish, but that we all should come to repentance. Oh my God. And he won't withhold anything good from you. He wants you, he wants me, he wants all of us to prosper and be in him as our souls prosper. That's the will of the Lord. I'm here in this video to tell you again to be encouraged no matter what's going on. God's going to make it all right for you, but you've got to stay strong. Don't give up hope. Don't give up hope. He loves you unconditionally, but he has some rules and regulations. He wants us to acknowledge him, acknowledge him in all All he wants us to do. Be obedient, willing to serve him. That's all he wants. We have trials and tribulations day in and day out. But he's told us to be of good cheer because we can overcome those things. He tells us that trouble doesn't last always. He said that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, yes, it does. Joy comes in the morning. Weeping may endure for a night, but wait until the morning light. Joy, joy, joy comes in the morning. God loves you. He loves you so much that in the midst of all of the trials, all of the turmoil, all the despair, all of the troubles, all the weariness, he still is watching over you. And don't let Satan deceive you because God makes a way for you to escape out of every trial and tribulation. He won't put you in it or let you go through it without already having a way for you to come out victoriously. Yes, troubles come. We're having troubles today, troubles tomorrow, but don't despair. Don't give up. God loves you. God loves you, and I declare that whatever it is that's troubling you right now, that God will give you peace in the name of Jesus. And I bind every evil spirit that's trying to torment you, that's bothering you in your mind, that's trying to discourage you. I bind it now in the name of Jesus. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. In the morning, he's all right. In the noonday, he's all right. In the evening, he's all right. In the midnight hour, he's still all right because he loves you. He wants you to believe in him. Our trials come to make us strong. They come to prepare us to help those who are going to need help along the way. When we go through, that 
is proof that God loves us and he wants us to share with everybody we can. He loves you. Oh, yes, he does. He loves you. Oh, yes, he does. Believe in God with all your heart. Don't lean to your own understanding because if you do, you never will overcome your obstacles, your trials, your tribulations. You have a positive mind. When the negatives come, rebuke those negatives in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, rebuke those negatives because God has something better for you. Oh yes, joy is coming. Joy is coming. Just hold on. God loves you. This is my spontaneous, spontaneous word with courage. We're the Gospel Temple and Inspiration of God Ministries, right here on the World Wide Web. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. And one thing about it, when you go through these trials and tribulations, when you go before God, you can go before Him in peace. You can see Him face to face in peace. And He'll say, well done. Thy good and faithful servant enter into paradise. And we will be able to live with him forever and ever. There will not be an end. So I'm, I'm dwelling on the positives tonight. And God willing, I'll see you tomorrow. He's a holy God. Oh, yes, he is. He's a righteous God. Oh, yes, he is. Call Greater Gospel Temple at six. Oh gosh, I have to remember the number. Oh yeah, you can reach me at GGT Church six six at yahoo.com. You can message me through Facebook, through Twitch, through Twitter, through uh, Instagram, through YouTube. You can get in touch with me. But I just wanted to come here encourage you. And even inhibitions try to overtake me and say they don't want to hear that. They don't want to see you. But I am speaking on behalf of what I know. I know that God will heal you. I know that you can get over this morning that you're going through. I know this sickness that you're going through is not forever. And one thing Elder Davis would say, he said,
Albert. I love you.